Hey everybody, what's up? I'm back with another baking video. So today I made banana chocolate chip muffins because personally I love banana and chocolate together. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and let's go ahead and get started. For this recipe, the ingredients you will be needing are three bananas and make sure they are spotted and ripe, one third cup of melted butter, but make sure it is cooled, two thirds cup sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon baking soda, a pinch of salt, one and a half cups of flour, and of course some chocolate chips. First and foremost, you want to start off by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you want to take your bowl of bananas and start smushing them with a fork, and then you can blend them with an electric mixer until desired creaminess. Next, I added my butter and my sugar, blended it all up, and then I added my egg and vanilla as well. Once that was nicely blended, I changed over to a wooden spoon and added the baking soda and the salt and mixed it up a little bit until it was combined. And then I added my one and a half cups of flour. And the key to this is to not over mix or else it's gonna lose its fluffiness. So make sure you don't mix too much. I kinda did it until there was only a little bit of flour in the bowl left to be combined. And then I added my chocolate chips and mixed it one last time. Now it is time to put your batter into your muffin tins. So on the website, it actually said to not use muffin liners because it was gonna stick onto the paper, but I really didn't wanna wash a dirty muffin pan, so I decided to use the liners anyways. Um, it did stick a little bit, but it wasn't too bad, but I'd say that if you would like cleaner results, you should just use cooking spray and just put the batter straight in. But anyways, it was fine, um, it didn't, it wasn't that bad so anyways the um, cooking time only took about 18 minutes in the oven and it turned out really good it was really soft and it didn't rise too too much just because there's no baking powder in there but I would say that you should not overflow it all in all these muffins turned out really great they're really soft just the right amount of sweetness and I definitely recommend semi-sweet chocolate chips because I think milk chocolate chips might be a little bit too sweet with the banana but also depends on the ripeness of your banana but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching um, I'm really into this baking video stuff right now so it's probably gonna be covers and this for a little while but um, yeah let me know what you guys think and thank you for watching and I will see you next time next time.